At the beginning of this chapter of videos, I said that we were moving into being exhaustive. Let's now be exhaustive with the processes internal content in terms of activities. The description that follows is a little naive. It omits options for the timing of actions or the handling of exceptions, but it is essentially how Prince works in practice. The arrival of the mandate causes the appointment of the executive and the project manager, the design and appointment of the project management team, and the capture of previous lessons. It causes prepare the outline business case and select the project approach and assemble the project brief. And finally, plan the initiation stage. The results end at authorize initiation, which give rise to prepare the risk management strategy, prepare the configuration management strategy, prepare the quality management strategy, prepare the communication management strategy. Combine the project's four strategies and the project's required result and approach in setting up the project controls and then create the project plan. Then refine the business case by using the costs and timescales from the project plan and then assemble the project initiation documentation. Combine that with the end stage report and the next stage plan from the stage boundary activity that will occur at the end of this stage and ask the question, can we authorise the project and can we authorise a stage or exception plan? Hopefully in initiation there's no exception plan. If the answer is yes, then we authorise a work package and the team member, team manager, accept a work package, execute a work package, send checkpoint reports to the project manager to review work package status and consolidate those into review stage status combine them and report upwards to report highlights and take actions from them for minor corrective actions which amend or authorise further work packages. The team member's activity results in deliver a work package and notification is passed such that the project manager receives completed work packages. Although note that's not necessarily receiving the results of the work package they're typically handed on to whoever is the best place to use them. Eventually, the cycle of the stage results in plan the next stage, update the project plan and the business case, and these three activities are probably concurrent and iterative, and then report stage end. When review stage status recognizes that there isn't a subsequent stage to follow, we prepare planned closure, hand over the products, which in truth is checking the products delivered down here have met all their quality criteria. So there may be no formal handover at this stage because they may all have happened over here. We evaluate the project's performance, so evaluate the project, recommend project closure, and then the project board authorizes that project closure. If we have issues, we capture and examine the issues and where appropriate, escalate issues and risks to the project board in order that they can give ad hoc direction. Finally, capturing an issue or risk may result in the need to produce an exception plan or other causes that may lead to preparing premature closure. So here are the 40 PRINCE2 activity names as formally given in the manual. Notice that they're in lower case except where they name a management product, in which case the management product is capitalized, or they include the proper noun of a name, which is also capitalized. Otherwise, they start with a capital and the rest is lowercase. Notice also that the official manual uses Z's rather than S's for the names, not something we really have to worry about in the exam.